that bitch. <laughs> Hello everyone, Nazo the Hedgehog here, and welcome back to more uh, Trails of Cold Steel 4. Um, I do have someone here, so sign in. Where would you like to go? Well, this is Silver, signing in. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen you. Yeah. Well, that's obviously happened. Well, yeah. Huh. <sighs> this part might not be as enjoyable as uh, a few parts back, but uh, we need to do it. Because we have bonding points to do. Well, we need to do the bonding points to strengthen our, um, well, not only our bonds, but I, I think, I think that's the only reason. I don't know. I know in, um, uh, I know in Persona, if you were, um, if you were doing it, that it would s make you stronger. I'm not sure if the same rule applies here. Okay, so are we actually going to spend time with Celine, or are we just going to... I'm still surprised that she's a bonding event. Oh, and she's purple. <laughs> purple. <laughs> yep, Celine's purple. What, did you think she was black? Oh, yeah. Um... Did you hear what uh, Eggman did to Cole? Yeah, I heard he turned him into Sonic too. Yep. Because apparently he wanted to test uh, something on Sonic, and then of course it backfired and Cole ended up stepping up for it. Well, I mean, I appreciate the gesture, but yeah, unfortunately now he's permanently stuck as uh, Sonic's left shoe. And here I thought I had it bad being Scourge's a uh, servant for four years.
I would rather be Scourge's servant instead of having to be someone's shoe. <laughs> but that's just me. Yeah, I feel you on that one. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, did you ever find your son? <laughs> I wonder where he's at. Hopefully he didn't go and cause his fate to change like Cole. How's Blaze anyway? Uh, she's fine. <laughs> I'm surprised she's still around in your uh, timeline. Make sure she's all cozy and everything. I mean, it makes sense. How far in the f future are you? Are you uh, anyway? Because I know that the silver from my timeline, who kept screwing stuff up, is actually two hundred. Is in two hundred years. Add another. You're 500 years into the future, oh boy. <laughs> and I wonder who's all, who's all, who all survived, uh, into your timeline that's from here or anyway. Uh. Oh boy. I know that a lot of us would probably be, what, great, great, great grandparents at this point in your timeline. Oh, oh boy. I still can't wait until we get to Reverie to find out if we can actually change the character's hair or not. <laughs> and if bonding points are going to be a thing. Like, how... how? Yeah, like, how far... How, how much of the Cold Steel did they actually keep in Reverie? <laughs> So do they still have the internet and gaming in in your timeline, or has that all dissipated? Oh, it's still still there, but far more advanced. 
Oh boy. I did do some research and unfortunately when we get to Daybreak, um, Trails Through Daybreak 2, um, that's going to be the last Trails of game because the creator has stated that um, it's easier to make um, um, anime and uh, comic books um, instead of making a game. So when we do get to Daybreak 2 at some point, um, because Daybreak 1 hasn't even came out yet, um, Daybreak 2 will be the last uh, Trails of game, unfortunately. But when we do get to that point, that means that we could go back to playing the... Um, um, after Daybreak 1, I could end up going back to the beginning and do the fr do the games that I missed, which is the Sky Trilogy and the Crossbell Duology. But I do know that those games are long, just like Cold Steel, so, oh boy. But I do know that, uh... Those games aren't in 3D. They're uh, 2D, 2D sprites. You know, like uh, like Pokemon, pretty much. You know, like the old Pokemon spri um, like Gen 2. Yeah, pixelated. Yep. At least that's what the Crossbell ones look like. The, um, well, the Sky Trilogy, the Crossbell ones, um... Oh! So she knew that, w that Reen was destined to be... They were supposed to be together ever since, the since they first met. Talk about love at first sight. I am pretty sure that was the same for you and Blaze. <laughs> I mean, I kind of feel the same about uh, Yukiko and uh, Laura. And um, yes, I, I do care for... Uh, for... Um, Hey, they changed her hair! <laughs> it was orange a second ago. <laughs> but, yeah, I... I feel the same for for Starline, but Starline's uh, always been busy with uh, his... Uh, you know, with his... Uh, what's it called? His uh, experiments. So... And I don't want to get in the way with uh, with that because um, I know how uh, the last time I tried to interfere and try to help him with his experiments, he got angry to the, and it was pretty bad. So it's like okay, I learned not to bug him while he's doing experiments, but he's mainly been doing experiments. And he hasn't really taken a break, so it's like, um, how am I supposed to, uh, do anything, you know, and with him? Because that's all he's been doing lately is experiments. <laughs> well, I, I get that he's a scientist and he's a doctor, I get that. But... I mean, come on, even Eggman and, and Finitivus take breaks sometime. I read the play Eggman take breaks and it doesn't seem sound pretty. No. Like he's all in his own food and show. I mean, his last experiment turned uh, someone into a shoe, so we know how his experiments go. 
Right. But what I don't get is originally he wanted it for Sonic. I mean, I get that he want he, he's been wanting to get rid of Sonic for years, but I don't really think uh, turning Sonic into a shoe would actually do him much good. Looks like we're going to be uh, spending time with Sarah here. Oh, we're, uh, we're putting graves on uh, her father's uh, gravestone. I guess... We gotta pay respects for uh, for the father. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, she he is the one that raised her and turned her into what she is. So it makes it makes sense for us to having to pay respects. Yeah, we need to be careful because uh, of where we're at. Because uh, I'm not used to uh, being in this uh, universe. Well, timeline. Because you got to remember, this is Scourge's castle, so... And we're talking about the... The one from the... Passed before he became Dragonheart's father, so oh boy. But I do know that me being here has already screwed up the timeline. But to be fair, him showing up in uh, in the future, aka the present, also screwed up the screwed it up. Yeah, my silver didn't really think about that, did he? Nope. Okay, I don't get this interaction at all. The two Jaegers that showed up from the last game, from the second game, showed up, probably to repay respects, and now we have r purple Roma grass.
monsters taking control of them. Um... This isn't good. This is supposed to be a bonding event, not a... <laughs> um... Okay... Reen went into his ogre form. Again, I don't understand what's going on. This is supposed to be a bonding event. Yeah, because it looks like, uh... Oh, we're playing as Sarah, and we have to fight Reen? Okay. Yeah, this... Uh, this was supposed to be a bonding event with, um... With Sarah, but... But then... The purple aroma grass showed up. Monsters took control of Jaegers that showed up. And Reen went into his ogre form, and now we have to play as Sarah to, f to fight Reen. Of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get that. I get why, because, you know, he can't control it, but. But still. Ooh, that this one looks cool. We haven't seen his we haven't seen his uh ultimate and when he was in his ogre form. Mm. Okay, it's not that impressive. And it looks like we have to lose that. Out of it. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah. Okay, she we she changed her hair from blue to I don't like the fact that they changed the the hair color in these scenes. At least I'm getting used to doing my job and playing the game at the same time. <laughs> or should I say both of my jobs? <sighs> Since I got promoted the other day. Yeah, having to rub Scourge's uh, shoes, <laughs> and also being his butt monkey. <laughs> um, we got um, a level four. So one more, um, one one or two more uh, bonding events with her, and she should be maxed. But setting a course. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you know about the contract, Silver. Yeah, four years. But like I said earlier, I would rather be Scourge's servant instead of uh, being someone's shoe. But yeah, I'm out of the two jobs. Um, I'm hmm. I would say I kind of enjoy. Uh, I kind of enjoy being the being the butt monkey more. But I get I get I get the understanding why the, the other why I need to do the other because of. But out of the two, yeah. I mean, someone's got to do it. I'm. Am I right?
Which one do you prefer and enjoy me doing more? <laughs> Well, you do realize what a what a butt monkey is, right? I'm referring to the kids in the hot Well, yes. Because they're, uh, we have to have a hot spring scene, um, but because it's kind of required, but also, uh, there's a This is the only way we can get our CP back up. Um, our CP and uh, and uh, SC um, back up um, so we can use our crafts. Yeah, I don't like the fact that we have to have a hot spring scene. I, I It would be... Uh, it would be nice if it was like it, you know, how it was in the second game where it was, um, you know, in the second game where it was more, oh, we go into the hot springs, but then, uh, the thing, um, will, um, you know, advance, um, without showing a cutscene and show us that, oh yeah, we got the, we got the thing back, you know, I prefer that, um, Especially on the fact that, you know, we already had a, not one, but two hot spring cutscenes during the beginning of the game. But anyway, I think we're going to end it here, and next time we will uh, hopefully get into some actual... Um, Action, I hope. Um, we might have to go and do the... Um, I know that we have to do the two um, required... Um, or at least one required... Um, um, quest to, to advance the story. But we might end up trying to do both. Um, but yeah, anyway... Um, why don't you two sign off? Yeah, this is Skirt signing off. And this is Silver signing off. <laughs> and this is Naza the Hedgehog signing off. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss a video from me. And I'll see you guys next time for more Trails of Cold Steel 4. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone.